you cannot be mindful when your mind is full. You just can't. I had a great question the other day from a client of mine and we work on her business, her branding, her life coaching, her fitness. And she says, Jason, I'm just feeling super overwhelmed. I am busy. I've got the kids. And by the time three, four o'clock comes up and I've been up for about nine hours at this point, I feel drained. I don't feel my goals that I'm working for are ever going to come true. And I'm like, wait a minute, are you a being busy or B being productive? She's like, well, I don't know how to answer that. Look, you cannot accomplish one five or ten things if you're just being busy because you're filling up slots you're gonna burn out you're gonna crash okay on today's episode of get inspired with jason the podcast and youtube show we're gonna dive deep into this subject and how to get your mind your body grooving so you don't stress out and actually become more productive than just busy stay tuned Hey, this is Jason Roselle and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal. I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? We'll get ready because the show starts now. Okay, so say you got one goal, maybe five, maybe 10. First off, you don't want to have 10 goals that you're working on at the same time. It's going to be a catastrophe. Why? I know from experience because I, I used to do it all the time. You just can't do it all, right? But you can do it all categorized and within actual timing breaks right what i mean by this is this so say you have fitness say you have a course that you're working on say you're writing a book so let's just say those top three but maybe there's more okay we'll get into that later but for starters number one workout right out ahead of time how long and what kind of workout you are going to do so say it's 30 minutes cardio done and done get it done right and after you check that off right take your break go to the bathroom Take a shower, eat your breakfast, whatever you gotta do. Here comes the second goal that you may be working on. Say you're taking a course right now, you're in school, right? Do 45 minutes, maybe 60 minutes tops. Work on it, take a 15 minute break. I repeat, take a 15 minute break. Why? You just need to chill out, go outside, have a walk, have a sip of water, done and done. You may be saying, well, the course is like 20, 60, 180 hours for all I care. Okay, cool. You have to ask yourself, okay, how big of a priority is this? Because you have different goals, right? You have several goals maybe. You want to make sure you dedicate however many hours you want a day without crashing. So say you say, I want to dedicate two hours, maybe three hours, do 60 minutes, 15 minute break, 60 minutes, 15 minute break, such and so forth. Done and done. Now, after this, you've been working for a few hours, take a nice lunch, right? We're basing this based on when you wake up, of course. So if you've been working for several hours, take those 15 minute breaks, then take a 60 minute break. Go on to your third goal that you're working on. Say you're working on writing a book. Mind you, these are just examples, right? Just examples. Same thing, 45 minutes, 60 minutes of work, take a 15 minute break. The value in this system is, to me, priceless, right? Because I was lost so many years trying to do so many things and I couldn't even finish the first task, the first goal, right? A lot of times in life, people focus on immediate gratification on their goals. And if they're not happening, they're always complaining if they're not happening right away. Like, why isn't this happening so quick? I, I, I work so hard, Jason. Why can't this come to me right away? Instead of focusing on the big accomplishments, Right? So say your goal is to make a, a half a million dollars. 2022, you want to make... So say your goal is to make half a million dollars for 2022, right? Say you've only made 60,000 
right? So say your goal is to make half a million dollars, right? For 2022, you wanna make half a million dollars. And say six months go into it, you're only at like 100 grand, right? But ask yourself, how much did you make the year before? Say you only made 60, that's already $40,000 more than you made the year before. Focus on the small wins, because those small wins lead to the badass wins that you're gonna be like, oh my God, it's happening right again these are just examples that you need to amplify your mindset with an emotional state because i promise you because it all is connected you want success in your business you want success in your body you want success in your relationships it all is connected right you got to be patient and focus on the small wins because the small wins lead to the big wins so when it does happen you're like damn i'm glad i was patient right so remember on anything that you're working on take your time right give it all you got because this is what being mindful and productive is all about being busy just to be busy you ain't never gonna get anything done i hope this episode helped you drop me a big thumbs up give me some love by just simply write down any questions that you have any comments take a screenshot of this episode and share it on twitter instagram facebook because i always want to start a conversation with you and i want to help you just because Guess what? Nobody was helping me for most of my life. And even though I have mentors and I mentor people on a weekly basis, whether it's in their business, branding, coaching, relationships, in their life, here's the deal. We together are a lot stronger than doing things alone, right? You are your best investment. You got to invest into what's going to make your life happier. And of course, give you the results you want in the most effective way. Remember, instant gratitude just doesn't cut it you are gonna get your goals and you're gonna attain them, but you gotta be productive. Get inspired, stay inspired. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.